In this lesson, you'll learn how to apply pentatonic scales to a C major 7 chord using a technique called superimposition. The C major scale degrees ordered in fourths show minor triads and minor pentatonic scales from 3, 6, and 2, and major chords and major pentatonic scales from 5, 1, and 4. Every major pentatonic scale has a relative minor, whose root is a minor third below and uses the same notes but different intervals. The relative pentatonic scales in the key of C major are shown below. We can eliminate superimposing the D minor and F major pentatonic scales over a C major 7 chord because they contain the note F, which clashes with the chord's third. That leaves us with the pentatonic scales of E minor and G major, A minor, and C major. The idea of superimposing a scale over a chord is to highlight certain notes and tensions. When superimposing the E minor pentatonic scale over a C major 7 chord, the shortcut is to use the major third interval between roots C and E as a reference to find 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, the highlighted chord tones and tensions, a major third above the minor pentatonic scale degrees 5, 1, 4, flat 7, and flat 3. With the highlighted notes ordered in fourths, we can easily visualize the pattern of thirds and seconds in each scale shape on the fretboard. Minor thirds are 7 to 2 and 3 to 5, while major seconds are 6 to 7, 2 to 3, and 5 to 6. Superimposing the related G major pentatonic over C major 7 also yields the same notes. Since the roots C and G are a fifth apart, you'll find that the highlighted notes are a perfect fifth above the major pentatonic scale degrees 3, 6, 2, 5, 1. Superimposing the E minor or G major pentatonic scale over C major 7 emphasizes the chord tones 3, 5, and 7 and highlights the color tones 9 and 13. The sound you'll hear is a C major 13. Listen to the E minor and G major pentatonic scales played over C major 7. To superimpose the A minor pentatonic scale, or its relative C major pentatonic over C major 7, we must once again use the interval between the roots of the chord and the scale as a reference to determine the highlighted notes. Since C to A is a major 6th, the highlighted notes in the chord, which are 3, 6, 2, 5, 1, are found three half steps below the scale degrees of the A minor pentatonic scale. Remember that ascending a major 6th is equivalent to descending a minor 3rd. The highlighted notes can be visualized on the fretboard as minor thirds 3 to 5 and 6 to 1, and as major seconds 2 to 3, 5 to 6, and 1 to 2. In the relative C major pentatonic scale, which shares the same root as the underlying chord, the highlighted intervals align with the major pentatonic scale degrees 3, 6, 2, 5, 1. The emphasized chord tones are the root, third, and fifth, while the implied color tones are 9 and 13. When the underlying chord is a C major triad, the sound you'll hear is C major 6, 9, and if the chord is a C major 7, the result is a C major 13 sound. Listen to the A minor and C major pentatonic scales played over a C major 7 chord. We can use the C Lydian scale, which is also a major mode like the C Ionian, to derive the B minor and D major pentatonic scales, which can be superimposed over C major 7. These scales contain sharp 4, the characteristic note in Lydian. The interval between roots C and B can be seen as an ascending major 7th or descending minor 2nd. The highlighted notes sharp 11, 7, 3, 13, 9 can be found a minor 2nd below the B minor pentatonic scale degrees ordered in fourths. If you've heard it said, play a minor pentatonic scale, a half step below the root of the chord to imply the Lydian mode, it should now make perfect sense. The highlighted notes can be visualized on the fretboard as minor thirds, sharp 11 to 13, and 7 to 9, and as major seconds, 3 to sharp 11, 6 to 7, and 9 to 3. When the relative D major pentatonic is superimposed over the C major 7, the major second between roots C and D can be used as a reference to find the highlighted notes a whole step above the major pentatonic scale degrees ordered in fourths. The emphasized chord tones are 7 and 3. Notice that the highlighted upper extensions 9, sharp 11, and 13 form a major triad. 
the sound you'll hear from the superimposed scale is C major 13 sharp 11. Now listen to the B minor and D major pentatonic scales over C major 7. In conclusion, using our hacks is the fastest way to identify which notes are highlighted when superimposing a scale without having to analyze the intervallic relationship between each scale tone and the underlying chord. The pentatonic scale is played from each of the Lydian scale degrees 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1 are the best choices to superimpose over a major 7 chord. I know which notes are highlighted when superimposing a minor pentatonic, simply begin a fifth above 7, 3, or 6, and stack fourths to align with scale degrees 5, 1, 4, flat 7, flat 3. And when superimposing a major pentatonic scale, begin a major third above 2, 5, or 1, and stack fourths to align with scale degrees 3, 6, 2, 5, 1. We've chosen two pentatonic scales to put our hacks to the test. Pause the video to figure out the chord's roots, the superimposed scales, and the highlighted notes. Check your answers on the next screen. There you have it, hacks for superimposing pentatonic scales over C major 7 using the Nandy method. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share our video.